We got a Grammy video. Trying to take off my glasses is like trying to take the Omnitrix off Ben Tent's wrist. But in all seriousness, having to wear glasses is pretty much a task in itself, and I could probably come up with a list longer than Rapunzel's hair explaining why wearing glasses is exceedingly arduous. I've got a love-hate relationship with my glasses that's more toxic than Gwen and Duncan's in Total Drama. So today, We'll be discussing some of the most prevalent and difficulties ma that come with wearing glasses that not only I, but millions of others have to endure on a daily basis. Comment down below the most annoying part about wearing glasses and like and subscribe if you're new. Firstly, we gotta rewind the clock and talk a little bit about the lore of how I started wearing glasses in the first All right, place. Give us the now, lore as I me. probably explained in previous videos, when I was a kid, I was on the computer more than a software engineer. Mm -hmm. But I guess it bounced out because I played like five different sports. But anywho, I vividly remember coming home from school damn near every day and playing those cartoon flash games. Hell yeah. Like that Lilo and Stitch sandwich game, that Powerpuff Girl fighting game, and that TK game on Cartoon Network. And Bro, a that TKO game used to be one of my fucking favorite games to play and I cannot ever, I, like, I can't find it. So I was damn near making out with the screen at all times. Seriously, bro, I was so close to the screen that the monitor could have identified as a VR headset. And my mom used to tell me that's the reason why my vision was all gooberish and erroneous. <laughs> Turns out that that shit was capping my bad eyes probably got passed down to me from I my dad with also wears glasses. So, you know, God had to nerf me, I guess. I'm pretty sure I just came out the womb with glasses like Dexter. Like, they just spawned on my face or something. I already had no holes equipped in my inventory. But going to the eye doctor was always displeasing no matter what the instance is. They pretty much used 20 different machines and doohickeys to tell me that I'm blind as fuck. And I don't know about y'all, but I be second guessing myself like a motherfucker. Like when they give you that lens test where you gotta say which one looks clear, you know, one or two, I'll say that one looks clear and she'll look down at me and be like, you sure? What you mean am I sure? I said it for a reason. Um, they be yes. trying to gaslight me, bro. They what? gotta be trolling with this shit. But riddle me this, Batman. How the hell is my optometrist gonna be scolding me about my vision? But the motherfucker also wears glasses. You're not even a professional You're senior. Blind it's too. like back in high school when the gym teacher used to be built like cottage cheese, but got the nerve to tell me that I'm not running fast enough. And it seems like they've harnessed the power of both tattooing sons into this infinitesimal device that blinds the hell out of me, bro. And don't even get me started on that air blowing machine. My body will never adapt to that Herculean puff of air that comes out that machine, bro. Yeah, you stare at this fake ass little house in the prairie, and then the optometrist got the nerve to talk about, you'll just feel a little puff of air. Next thing I know, it feels like the Hulk just hitting with a thunderclap, bro. But it's not even my fault because they'd be waiting hell long to start the test anyway. So now I'm just sitting there anxiously waiting for the air to assault my optical organs. But the circumstance that adds salt to the wound is the fact that glasses cost an arm and a leg. Like, why the hell do I need to make a down payment on some Ray Bans? It's already bad enough that I damn near got the same prescription as Stink Meaner, but now I gotta pay a college tuition just to adapt to my unfavorable state of affair. Can we also talk about having foggy glasses for a moment? Obviously, everybody remembers having to wear a mask in 2020 and like half of 2021. No big deal, right? Wrong. Because no. breathing into my mask automatically threw up a fucking smoke screen into my face. And it's not like no. I was hyperventilating or anything. I was just breathing conventionally as one does. But my lens would still fog up like a witty anime character or something. Except to attract all the aura and intellect and replace it with dorkiness. That's it's like having a fucking insane. steam press built into my face. And it's low-key embarrassing because everybody can see it and think I'm a dissolute mouth breather chat. or something. But it doesn't stop at face masks because during the winter, the same thing happens. How many Walking of inside from the cold into a warm room temporarily blinds me. The same thing goes with opening the dishwasher. It's like a fucking smoke screen hit my ass, bro. And don't forget about the rain. It doesn't matter if I have a hood on or if I have a damn Mary Poppins level umbrella. Rain yep. drops will inevitably find their way onto my glasses and sabotage my vision. It's literally like looking through some fake ass Snapchat filter or something. And then I have to make sure I promptly wipe them off because if I let the rain drops dry, then they leave these fucking stains that make it look like I let me a Khalifa bra for the weekend. Somebody really needs to invent glasses and wipers and take that Welcome shit on Star Trek or something. I'm willing to invest all 12 of my dollars. Stratus don't want her? Stratus don't want who's Tyla? Hmm. W, that means you get Tyler back, man. You get to that apparatus. Her. Not to mention I gotta be mad and meticulous when wiping off my glasses because sometimes they'll just randomly smear for absolutely no reason at all. Don't be bamboozled by this insubstantial piece of fabric that they give you when you get your glasses. That thing does nothing but worsen the mess even more. And I'll make a conscious effort not to touch the lens part of my glasses, but yet these then are regular blends still then, develop. But when I do successfully clean them, by Jove, I'm a new man. It's like going from 144p to 4k. And then motherfuckers After always used to ask to try them on. This was probably the most provoking part about having glasses. Most of the time I would turn people down, but the people that have my gunna. first time I should be playing. Help. I just be playing, man. Y'all can have Gunna. I got somebody better than Gunna. I got somebody better than Gunna. Okay. I'm not worried about Gunna. Sure you do, buddy? I do. My 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 streamer crush is better than Gunna. My streamer crush is way better than Gunna and, and anybody else that I can name. Sorry. <laughs> so y'all y'all can have Gunna. Y'all can have whoever y'all want. Y'all can keep them. I'm chilling. Hi, oh, Tweezers. One of the most Hi, evil minded it, statements that these motherfuckers used cubious? to announce was, Man, your vision is bad. No shit, can Charlotte. I that's why no. I got glasses. You that's like walking into the room man. of a Reddit moderator and being like, Ew, what smells like it. sweat and pizza rolls with a tinge of disappointment? You should already know what to expect. They be acting like they be getting crazy. jump scared looking through my glasses, bro. Yes, Don't I even can. get me started on when these tactless individuals put yeah, their fingers on the lenses and put them down on the table lens down. These niggas be putting their big, meaty claws all over the lenses of my glasses. This is definitely one of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to having glasses. Of course, you got the motherfuckers asking, How many fingers am I holding up as they stick their 
their finger in my face like they're ET or something. My nigga, I'm not on LSD. I can clearly see them two stankin' ass fingers you got in my face. Seriously, bro, I never understood why motherfuckers think that people with glasses just start seeing all types of anomalous and zany figures and images yeah, when we no have our glasses. No, like, Let you, me no, clear the air you. right now. This is what I see without my glasses. Not this. And this goes on way longer than it needs to. These niggas start pulling out Naruto Jitsu hand combos and shit. Like motherfuckers think I'm Velma Dinkley or something. And then they got the nerd to ask, then why do you need glasses if you can see how many fingers I'm holding up? My patience for these niggas is shorter than Gen Alpha's attention span. I don't know right. about y'all, but I'm nearsighted, Everybody so I have no problem seeing things right in front of me. Huh? But the moment that things like five feet all away from me, it's a little bit I like to compare my vision to DeMar DeRozan in the sense that around the basket in that mid range area, it's all sunshine and rainbows. But the moment he steps behind that three point line, it gets uglier than a balloon to But luckily, I've never had the problem with being so blind. I got a mosquito that is fucking damn near in anomaly. It's not dying. I can't see my glasses. Might right as well become face. best friends with it. bad for you niggas for real. And please tell me I'm not the only person who's gotten an irrational headache whenever I'm not wearing my glasses. If I'm chilling around the house or just Take engaging in day-to-day -day activities, it's all good. But there would be times where I'll forget my glasses when going to school and the entire day Go my head is pounding like a jackhammer or something. But then my teacher had to go and make the experience even Oscar more inglorious by asking, Gabe, do you want to sit at the front of the class today? Now everybody brushes. is clowning me for not only forgetting my glasses, but also getting babied by the teacher. With the amount of dick riding these niggas were doing, I could have had them surgically removed, bro. But not everybody in class is staring at me like they've been possessed by Lil Durk. I'd rather spend the entire class period squinting than come sit at the front of class. Not to mention the circumference of my eyes decreased by about 70% whenever I don't have my glasses. Dude. Like, I go from having stereotypical anime eyes to having Dipping, the eyes I'm of not an adventure blind, and I don't and have please to tell me I'm not the only person who has to constantly push their glasses back on the face. Especially when I'm sweating, bro. This shit gets Right, and it's pretty much impractical to try to push them back up into my seconds. face without looking like the world's nerdiest entity of all time. Using your middle and ring Oscar finger can somewhat lessen Oscar the blow, but you're still gonna look like feet. Captain of the Calculus. Team. I thought me and Just Oscar look. were locked in. I look like I'm about to tell it you every like constant error on television, bro. Um, actually, this isn't Squidward's first time trying a Krabby Patty because in season this two, these two be shown bizarre. ingesting Krabby Patties at an alarming rate. Whereas the episode that's infamous for Squidward trying Krabby Patties doesn't take place until the following season. Rudimentary mistake, dear chap. Once again, this is something that anime makes look absolutely swagalicious, but in real life, I couldn't feel more like a dweeb. Every time I have to do this, I feel like a fucking 90-year-old grandpa. Let me tell you about the kerfuffle of 1948. No, bro, I've still got years ahead of me. Trying to lay down with glasses on is also pretty exacerbated. Now, obviously, nobody should be laying down with their glasses on. But what you gotta take in consideration is the fact that sharing? my head is like 80% nope. of my body weight. If I were to get <laughs> nope. decapitated, my body would weigh less than a celebrity on Ozempic, bro. Sometimes I'd accidentally fall asleep with my glasses on and come to find out the motherfuckers were on a damn Lewis and Clark expedition. They would deadass be across the room. I didn't know Casper was out here filming prank content now. Sometimes I'd wake up and my ditzy ass would be sleeping on them harder than I slept on the Dallas Mavericks. Speaking of which, my glasses uh -huh. are probably taking what? more damage than a random civilian in Gotham City. Now, like I prefaced in the beginning of the video, I played a plethora of sports, usually with my glasses on. And sometimes I would take more glasses than face than did. <laughs> Which means that by the time I was done, they were throwing up all types of gang signs. I'm talking Bloods, hey, Crips, Latin Kings, the Squirtle Squad. It was bad, bro. It looked like I had a pair of walking sticks on my face. So I had okay, to bring though. them in and get fixed like every other week, bro. I know them niggas were sell. sick of me. Or and some may ask, yeah, why don't you just get contacts? Because I barely like throwing on these bifocals every day. You think I'm going to stand around and perform surgery on my eyeballs every night and morning? Fuck but no. I, I feel like wearing contacts is this video. Awesome. Comment down below like the worst part about having glasses. Like, I feel like wearing contacts is You know what I'm saying? You got any benefits? Like, if you like having glasses? I, I, I like personally do. I think it's part of my character. Exhausting. You know what I'm saying? Fun. Comment those down below too. Like, subscribe, you new. You're pretty. Join the family. Thank you, Sleepy. I love you. 2024 takeover is in full effect, baby. Also, let me know other ideas or, you know what I'm saying, co content, video, you, know, wh whatever, you know, whatever it's called nowadays. Let me know what else you want to see from me, man. Period. I'm always taking, you know, I'm always taking suggestions, bro. I'm a man of the people. Thank y'all for rocking with me. I'm truly blessed and honored to be able to make these videos for y'all, bro. And, you know, just to be in the position that I'm in, bro, I'm forever blessed, forever thankful, forever grateful. And I love y'all. But with all that being said, I hope this video finds you in good spirits. I'm G Grimey. It's been real. I'm out. I love y'all. Peace. Period. W Grimmy, man. W Grimmy.